wasn't that much sea or wind, so we're kind of blessed this morning. Somewhere behind the lead gray clouds, the October sun's just rising on Lake Superior, and Steve Dahl is pulling his living from its bitterly cold water. Yeah, that was a good pull. That wakes you up. <laughs> it's only gonna be about 60, 70 pounds, but that's okay. That's the way it is, too. You can't do anything about it. His harvest, the lake herring, a whitefish native to Superior's icy depths, a favorite of the many descendants of Scandinavian settlers in these parts, now in the midst of a comeback from pollution and parasites that nearly drove it extinct 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, I can go a couple months without fish, or, or very little. You just have to hope they move in. And when they do, then you're, <laughs> it's a lot of fish. You never know. Dahl's herring nets are set semi-permanently a few miles outside the Knife River Harbor on the shore of this huge and temperamental lake. He works alone and he plays the waiting game. His nets catch herring only at night, only when they are feeding, only when they happen by this part of the lake. There's just no other way to fish here. That's only 300 feet. I have a hard time making sure it stays there. Superior doesn't give up its fish easily. Wind and waves change in an instant. In the good winter fishing months, Dahl will be fishing in temperatures far below zero if the lake hasn't frozen over. It's a tough way to make a living, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'd be out on the lake every morning. Dahl cleans his herring in a shed near his home in the hills above the lake. This is a pretty simple order. In the fall, then I back, back splitting. I can do 70 pounds every 15 minutes. The bulk of the year, it's local markets, restaurants, supermarkets, smokehouses. An hour out of the water, Dahl's catch is in the hands of Gordon Olson at Kendall's Smokehouse on the shore road near Duluth. We sell his herring uh, played or scaled and headless or smoked. It's an ancient process of uh, smoking that we do here. Uh, it's nothing new, nothing very sophisticated about it. The fish are brined overnight in a salt solution. They're put placed in the ovens and they're smoked over open fires and we use uh, exclusively uh, maple wood. The, the electric ovens with the smoke generators, they don't add the flavor like the natural wood uh, you know, does on the old time ovens here. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We've heard about you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dealing with Steve and those kind of guys, uh, shoremen like that, just absolutely fantastic. They're down to earth. Wow. Everybody gets along from from when you catch the fish till when you sell it. And that's what you got to have, you know. So Steve's a good man. A local delicacy will keep its place in Minnesota kitchens and restaurants, thanks to a few fishermen like Steve Dahl. Because, regardless of the odds, they like working alone. They like challenging the vastness of Lake Superior. They like putting food on people's tables. My job is to supply people who can't access the resource, but we have a right to it. 